But it's not every day a government admits its public transport system is broken. But that's exactly what has happened in Sydney. The transport minister has delivered proof that buses in much of the city are so slow you might as well get off and walk. Here's Lachlan Kennedy. Peak hour on George Street, pedestrian versus passenger. What's the fastest way to travel the 1.5 kilometres between World Square and Wynyard? This time of day, it wouldn't make much difference. <laughs> but I think, I think a bus would be faster. I think walk to that, yeah. The Department of Transport put it to the test and recorded both journeys. The result, a five-minute win to foot power. It's forced the man responsible for buses to admit... Uh, this is a city that isn't working. The government forecasts bus passenger numbers will climb from 205,000 each peak period to 242,000 in 16 years. Demand that threatens to cripple the CBD without significant changes. Uh, we've got major station upgrades at Wynyard, at Town Hall. Uh, we've got the ferry hub at, at Barangaroo. We've got the Wynyard Walk. We've got light rail. We've got the new rapid transit system, which is also going to be built. It's a workload that will test the city's patience. The CBD light rail will be built across 31 phases of construction with the first main works here on George Street to commence in September. The government plans to release the detailed construction schedule in the coming days. We need to get this construction schedule out. We need to be telling the Sydney community exactly what's going to be happening. Bus passengers will need to wait for their new timetable, something they're already very used to. Lachlan Kennedy, 10 Eyewitness News.